Hello everyone, it's Sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about the exclusive interview that Nick at Night, she's a popular YouTuber, did with Star Marie Jones. If you don't know who Star Marie Jones is, this is the lady that Tasha K interviewed and that's, that to me is the cat catalyst to all this drama. So Tasha K interviewed her like back in 2018 and everybody believed that she was um, Cardi B's roommate because that's how it came out but obviously she was not because even she said that she was not now she says she's not she was a traveling dancer but anyway Tasha K interviewed her and then you know she did the allegations that Cardi B had STD and different allegations that caused all this drama but now she is speaking again well she spoke again and she was interviewed by Nick at night and I think this happened on Saturday probably Friday night Saturday somewhere around that time so she it was a lot of things that said a lot of things that were said and even Mr. Dennis Byron came on <laughs> I see a lot of people criticizing criticizing Nick at night why she did this um, it didn't make no sense and stuff like that I think it was it was needed to be done because she got the interview because obviously um, Star Marie Jones was not speaking at all she had when, when the thing first happened she was doing different lives and then after that you didn't hear anything from her again so this interview I think was a good thing because it's actually giving you insight into if she does go to court with Cardi B what her defense is gonna go on, going to be as because I Cardi B did say she was gonna sue Tasha K and Star Marie Jones I'm not sure if they if she's still gonna do this but if she does she's just giving you insight this was a good interview because it's giving you insight to what she is going to say in her defense basically if you listen if you are you go to listen to the whole interview that Nick did with her not because she basically she was uh, um every time Nick was trying to uh, uh, ask her questions she was cut off she would cut off and deflect and t it was a, it was a mess but anyway she it all boils down that she was not in her right state of mind um she was off of medication she has documented mental illness I'm not saying that she doesn't have documented mental illness illness but is not that bad to the fact that she did get her master's degree she just got her master's degree yes she did have help but she is not all that while she's non-functioning she's like a non-functioning mental a person with mental illness she's able to function she's able to work she's able to she's she was able to get master's degree there are people who don't have mental illness that cannot even um get their master's degree because when i was in school and I was getting my bachelor's and I was friends with a lot of people that was getting their masters. I I would help them with their papers because they have a lot. There's certain majors that you do. You have a lot of papers to write. So that's not getting your masters is not easy. Even with help, sometimes you may have help and you still don't uh, uh, manage to finish it. But if she finishes it, it's not it, it's not that bad how she would like to portray herself to be. So she was um, saying in the sense that. <clears throat> trying to play um, victim, you know, trying to get sympathy. And then when another thing is when Nick, people would say she was trying to take up for Cardi B. I don't think she was trying to take up for Cardi B. I think she just wanted clarification and she wanted to know why uh, um, you said these things about this, this lady. And then every time she would ask her a question about that, then she would say, oh, uh, um, she called black women cockroaches and different things like she kept on bringing this up and then she's like oh i stood up for unique and stuff like that it's like um why are you defending this 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 lady why are you defending us black people supposed to stick together but us black people supposed to stick together nick was the only one who was able to get this interview you know these on youtube people get monetized from their content and if certain words that you say in your content, it will get you demonetized. She kept on 
using cuss words, using uh, um, derogatory terms, and kept on doing it, kept on doing it. Okay, if we so-called black women, we should stick there. I stick up for you. You, I finally got an interview with that. Why would you be using those type of terms? Knowing well, even if you don't know a lot of stuff on um, YouTube, you know YouTube, one, you know maybe two things. YouTube makes money. You can make money on YouTube. And then there are certain words you cannot say on YouTube. She kept on saying, kept on saying, but then you want to use the card. Oh, we are black people. We supposed to stick together. But then you, um, you cursing on my thing. I'm knowing this video probably would have get me, uh, uh, um, some, uh, uh, of course going to get me a lot of traffic and it will make me some money, but now it won't be able to cause it's demonetized because of the words that were said. So, all of y'all out there who are naked nice supporters, I'm not sure how bad them, how the demonet um, demonetization works, but reach and support, support her in whatever way that you can, because obviously this video won't be able to be monetized as it, it should have been if she was not using the words. So that I didn't understand. You want to let's stick together as black people, but then this is what you do. You kept on cursing, kept on cursing. And even Nick and I tell us, why do y'all have to be cursing? And she kept on doing it for no reason. I know you could get, sometimes you get emotional and then you might say oh, a few words here and there, but she kept on doing, kept on. And since certain words, she kept on saying. So that didn't make sense to me. And another thing um, that I I remember, Lovely T, like I always say, Lovely T does not get the recognition and the honor that she deserves. Lovely T warned us about this young lady, Star Marie Jones. If you haven't watched the video, go and watch. She had a two-part video series that she did on this lady. She warned us. People were clowning her because, you know, she was saying certain stuff that was happening to her before she went to do the video and people were making fun about her. But let me tell you something. Some people God has gifted, they can see what, what you guys call bad en energy. Me, I call it something else. But anyway, some people gift God is God has gifted them. They could see those type of uh, um, stuff. So Lovely T warned us about this lady. This lady, like I said, she's the catalyst in all this drama, in all of this drama. And then even her with her own mouth, this is what she says employment and stuff. I'm like, you know, nobody wants to hire me. And this is prior to me even going on her show. I'm like, everywhere I go, people keep messing with my bag. Like everybody keeps, keep messing with my money. Like no matter everything that I try to do, people keep blocking me. And so in her own words, you hear it, you heard what she said. Oh, everywhere she goes, nothing. She said a lot of stuff, but everywhere she goes, people try to block her. People try to do people. You may agree or disagree with me, but most of the time, when this things like that is happening to you is because you what you have sown you are reaping what you have sown you have you're reaping and basically that's what happens a lot of st a lot of times you try to do things and it's not working out because you have sown different seeds and now you're reaping them and trust me you never reap <laughs> you're not going to reap you're not going to choose where you reap you're not going to, uh, uh, you're not going to choose where you, reap. so where you're going to reap is something that's going to hurt you. Something that's, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. So this is, uh, 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 I'm not taking up for Tasha K either because Tasha K is, like I said, I do not, uh, uh, mess with, um, Tasha, Tasha K. I do not, I'm not a fan of her at all because of different things that she has done to pe uh, to other uh, different people. So that's another person reaping what they saw, but this lady. This lady is somebody that has a lot of bad energy on her. A lot of, it's like every time somebody, it's like people uh, uh, um, be around her or, or whatever. And then things go haywire. Things go haywire. It's people like that, you need to stay far away from them. Just like in this interview, Nick, Nick at night number one, she, she was unable to interview her the, in the way that she wanted would would I want to because number one the lady has a very strong personality she has a very very strong personality and and then of course Nick and I found out that she had mental illness she wanted to everybody know that I got mental illness that's why I acting like this that's why I'm that's why I, I, I act as well I have a lot of anxiety I have a lot of this so anyway <laughs> so 
So the way she wanted to, you know, ask a question, she was unable to, and plus because of the strong personality, she was unable to do that to Tashuke because Tashuke, you know, Tashuke has a strong personality and Tashuke personality is much stronger than her. So she couldn't, you know, try to take over the interview. But Nick at night, you know, went uh, uh, um, little, uh, um, went soft on her. But this is the thing which was good because people with strong personality, if you, you don't know how to deal with them, just let them talk. Because it's either they're going to dig their own grave or you're going to see exactly who they are and you're going to know, hey, I'm not supposed to be with this person. Hey, I need to stop hanging up with you. You're going to make your own conclusions about that person. Especially pers- somebody like that with a strong personality and ev- it's like they cause a mess everywhere they go. Because even when she was with Cardi, uh, um, Cardi testified that she would be dancing and um, one, one time she was dancing and then she was trying to take her money. So it's like, it's a pattern. So it's different things that you have sown in your life, young lady. That's why you, that's what you have. That's what you're reaping. Life is basically paying you for what you did. That's all it is. That's why people have to be careful in what you do in life, how you treat people, what you do to different people. And another thing that you can learn from this also is because Cardi B was a, a dancer back then. She was a dancer. She was a dancer. And then Cardi B, you know, Cardi B, how Cardi B was back in those days. She did have an audience. I don't know exactly where, where she was on Instagram, but she had an audience. And, you know, her, uh, um, her teeth was a mess. She was, But she she was people, people, people liked her. People gravitated to her. And because of that and different things, she was able to attain a level of success. And this lady seemed... To all my opinion, child, this lady seemed to be jealous, got jealous, not even thinking, say, hey, she was dancing just like me. Look how she made it. One day I can make it too. Nope. It's jealousy. If you cannot celebrate, if you cannot be happy for when you see people that you know, people around you, people you have known win, have uh, attained a certain level of success, of success, you will never win in life. You will never win because you're not happy for people. So all this is a is, is, is all this drama is, is a bunch of jealousy, and all this drama is people reaping what they have sown, and like I said, I'm gonna say it again, lovely T warned us, lovely T warned us about this lady, and Nick at night. If I was you, I don't know if you believe in God, child, I would show the Holy Ghost fire on me to burn off off that bad energy from the, this lady has a lot of bad. This is all my opinion. This is all my opinion, child. But she has a lot of bad. Why, of of all the people, I'm sure was reaching out to her. She came. She came to you. Uh, uh, um, she interviewed with you, and then this is her, you gave her a platform to speak. And then it's like, it's like she. Uh, uh, you trying to uh, uh, um ask a question so she could clarify certain things that she say. But then nope, she was trying to play victim. She was taking no accountability. And then when at first you ask her. Oh, would you want to apologize? Oh, yeah, I'll apologize. And boom, she switched like in a sense to show you that, oh, she's, yeah, she's, she's not all there. She had finished said yes. And then now she says no. (sighs) But anyway, like I said, this interview, I think it needed to be done because if Cardi B does choose to, is it either going to be this? They're going to see this video, um, this interview and then Cardi B, Cardi B or Cardi B people or somebody gonna say, I don't think you should just should so well. She don't look like she's all there. Look how she was going off that all that like that. Or when she do go to court or whatever, it's gonna she's gonna of course she's gonna have proof because she says ever since this thing been happened, she's been in a documented program. <laughs> See that's people people like people like that, they they fix their bed before they before they are sleepy. Okay, they fix their bed before they sleep because they know exactly what they're doing. But anyway, what do I know? What do I know? I'm just talking to a phone. So yeah, so she is definitely fixing. This is if she goes to court. This is this is what her defense is gonna be. Exactly what her defense is gonna be. A person who's mentally ill, who's not all there, who's not on that thing, and then she was, in a sense, pressured into doing this interview. She cannot be liable for what she said and what she did. So, we're going to have to dismiss the case. But anyway, that's all I had to say on this situation. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.